Good morning, Sam community. Welcome to Thursday morning. It's Pastor Anna coming to you live from my office here at Sion Lutheran Church, located in Lancaster, Minnesota. Yes, I'm back for my Friday. <laughs> um, Thursdays are my Fridays because I try to take Fridays and Saturdays off. But we'll see how it goes. Got a lot of work to do, got to catch up. Got to plan ahead, got to do all the things that don't get done when you're doing other things. Imagine that. Um, this morning, um, we had baptisms this week um, at church on Sunday. Uh, so we'll have three at the same service, um, which is really exciting. Um, now another opportunity for the congregation and community gathered to live into the promises that they make every time there's a baptism, uh, to walk with those to teach and proclaim and just do all the things. Parents, those gathered in the congregation, the sponsors, we all make promises. And this will be a good reminder of those promises that we so often fail to live up to to fulfill in our daily walks with those we have witnessed be baptized in the living water of Jesus Christ. Um, also this weekend, uh, we have the road to Emmaus um, story from scripture where uh, it kind of ties in nicely to what I was talking about last week with being in community and how it's hard and um, you never know where Jesus is going to show up. And I'm going to leave it at that because that's kind of where I'm feeling for this week. Um, Road to Amaze. I just found out it's Road to Amaze yesterday uh, when I asked my wife what the text was for this weekend because I hadn't looked at it yet. Um, so, yes, the power to show up, um, which fits nicely with baptism like we are called to show up for those who are welcomed into the community like ushered into the body of christ um, but also speaking of baptism um i know there's a lot of miss um misunderstood theology around baptism uh where we like to think of baptism as fire insurance. This is a like long held belief or idea that you have to be baptized or you're going to hell. Um, and as Lutherans, um, practicing Lutherans or Lutheran hangarounds or whatever, whatever um, however you identify within the Lutheran spectrum, that is not our theology. Um, baptism is a means of grace, not grace itself. So baptism is a means of grace, which means that grace is imparted upon the partakers of baptism. Uh, when we pour the water and combine it with the word, the promises of God, uh, saying, do this, um, grace is imparted upon the person. However, if you're not baptized, there's still grace. There are other means of grace. Communion is a means of grace. Uh, the proclaimed word is a means of grace. But it's not the thing itself. And so often we we combine the two. We, we like, you have to be baptized to be, to receive grace. You have to jump through these hoops to be saved you have to you know go from sunday school to confirmation to first communion to communion and then you'll be saved and that beloved is works righteousness which is what we don't do that was one of the the big thrusts 500 years ago uh, against the Catholic Church, the Catholic theology of works righteousness, where you can essentially, in the most basic sense, buy your way to heaven. If you did enough good things, if you gave enough alms, you bought enough 
you know, penance, you did the, all the prayers, then you'd be saved. But that was one of the, the triggers for the Reformation, and that's not it for us. Um, we are saved by grace. Full stop. There's nothing we can do to earn grace. In fact, if it was up to our own merits, we wouldn't get it. But through the love of God, we are given it anyway. Um, in the most basic sense. I mean, there are books. I have books if you want to read. Uh, I hope you find some books about more deep theological treatises around this sort of thing but baptism is not a requirement however i would say what is a requirement around baptism is fulfilling the promises that you make at the time that would be a requirement <laughs> um, doing good things because of your faith your faith prompts you to do the things that's the works that we participate in the faith led. And so fulfilling the promises of brown baptism would be a faith led work, which is okay. Um, and something we all need to do better <laughs> at, because we often think of it as one and done. Like, oh, well, yeah, they're baptized now, it's over. But that's not the case. Baptism is the beginning of the journey. Um, and historically, it was often the middle of the journey where you would be ushered through a catechumen process, which is a lot like confirmation. You'd be taught the basics of the faith, the introductory level courses, the Lutheran 101s. And then you'd be baptized at Easter. Um, adults were baptized at Easter. Um, and that's another thing that we could we could wrestle with is when do you get baptized? To be honest, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a means of grace. Um, and so we do typically baptize infants, um, which for the promise perspective works because there is more time to teach and proclaim and show and do faith formation, but as an adult, you can be baptized too. And we still make the same promises to show and preach and teach and journey with. And so that's what we're looking at this weekend is journeying with young people who are being brought to the font. And so if you would choose to be in that number, who bear witness to that, please keep in mind the promises that we're going to make because it's really important uh, to live into those. Uh, yes. Also, one last thing. I know this is going long, but you haven't listened to me talk for a few days this week, so bear with me. I'm also um, developing an idea in my head, which is always dangerous, about doing uh offering some lutheran 101 courses um as ministry opportunity where we would go through you know basics of the faith like baptism and communion and worship and you know it would be like communion it would be like first communion but it'd be like a refresher course a lutheran refresher what does it mean to be Lutheran and around communion, around baptism, around the Bible, around um, music, all those things? Um, so if that would be something you'd be interested in, I'm looking for accountability partners. Uh, if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know so that uh, we'll keep the idea fresh in my head. Because uh, otherwise it'll go by the way of like all the other ideas that pop into my head randomly. But I think that would be important um, because I know there are people who have questions and creating a safe space to have questions around specific faith articles, I think, could be really interesting. It could also be really powerful um, to usher in a deeper understanding of what we're about, what we do, what we say, how we do it, how we say it, um, and all those things. So. 
accountability partners combine like the aqua team i don't know whatever anyways captain captain planet yes that's a good one anyways let us pray uh i'm rambling so we'll pray dear god thank you for today thank you for the opportunity to connect with colleagues around the synod doing all kinds of wonderful things this week but also thank you for bringing me back to the root community to scion and all of our folks here thank you for baptisms uh it's so exciting to get to baptize young people into the body of christ to seal them with a mark of the cross and invite the community to gather around them for the sake of formation and development. And just life together in this place and wherever they find themselves in the years to come. We also ask that you just be with us uh, on this journey. Show up unexpectedly, tap us on the shoulder and peek around the other way as kids are likely to do old joke. But just keep us guessing, where are you? Keep us seeking and searching and looking for you wherever we are. Because then we will inevitably love more neighbors, more people who wouldn't expect to be loved. And we can do that if we're looking for you actively, seeking your face and ushering in the kingdom of God through our works, our deeds, our actions, and our words. So be with us as we journey through the rest of this day into the days that come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And so, beloved children of God, remember you are blessed to be a blessing. And sometimes that blessing requires you to do a little faith-based work, like living into promises. Until next time, I'll see you when I see you.